happening guys welcome back to another episode of what remains of edith finch so uh yeah we're currently down here in a bunker last episode we uh encountered a lot of strange characters in the finch family one of which was walter that apparently spent 30 years of his life living in a bunker trying to hide from the family curse this game is doing a really good job trying to get you to believe there's this curse that seems to cause all the finches to die prematurely in a weird bizarre way but I'm going to just go out on a limb here and say the Finches die because they're all stupid. They've got a serious problem with not thinking things out. They're missing something up here. There's some screws loose because Walter, at least this is what I think happened, was scared because he saw a lot of people in his family die, one of which was Barbara. She died in some weird, bizarre way. Her ear was left in a music box and he was scared shitless. So he spent 30 years of it. I can't even speak. The stuttering has began. <laughs> but uh, no, he spent 30 years of his life down here in a bunker to avoid this monster, this curse that's doing in the finches early, prematurely before they're supposed to go. And uh, he got sick and tired of the same routine. I mean, I would too, honestly, spending 30 years down here, not seeing anyone, not talking to anyone, not being out in nature, just doing the same routine day in and day out, eating peaches, picking up your bobblehead, listening to the radio. So he decided he had had enough. He went through the bunker, and uh, I'm guessing, based on the small cutscene we saw, he got hit by a train. So again, pure stupidity. <laughs> At least, that's what I'm guessing. So yeah, if you guys are still enjoying this series, make sure to smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and uh, yeah, we should have maybe one or two videos left after this. Alright, uh, how do I get this open? Come on, open it up. Okay, I, I guess I can't open it. Is there anything around here? Maybe a switch I can flip or something? No? We had a lot of food down here. Although, to be honest, not a, a large variety of food. First aid kit, okay. Fake window. Hmm. No TV or anything, good lord. All right, now how do I open this? Can I not open it? There we go. Jeez, fourth time the charm. All right, all right. Let's drop down in here and see exactly what killed Walter. Probably a train. So yeah, that, that's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say the reason the Finches die Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Is because they're just really careless and stupid. <laughs> that has to be it. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house... That would be bizarre. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Mm-hmm. Like, just imagine hearing later on in your life that the entire time you were growing up in your family home there was a family member you had never met living below the house in a bunker. That would be so weird and bizarre. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Hmm. Trying to bury something that's still alive. This game is so cool. Such a mystery. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. Maybe two? I thought it- Oh, sorry about that, hold up. Um, so based on this uh, family tree, I, who, who else could be left? I mean, all I see here is Edith. Everyone else has died, right? Perhaps? This time I heard the stories for myself. Indeed. So this is where Walter... Uh, and found out what happened to everyone else. This is where Walter uh, decided to exit his tunnel. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Hmm. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. That was probably it. Like I said, it didn't really seem like they were dying from a curse. More, just basically more or less really stupid decisions on their part. All right, so this is a shrine to Walter, 1952 to 2005. Interesting. And we have a, a train conductor's hat, a little train there. He must have been hit by a train somehow, although I don't know where the train would have come from. Very bizarre indeed. Yeah, maybe he fell to his death. Okay, there's a blinking light over there in the house, the sunk house, the one that Odin originally brought over. Interesting. Who's over there? Why is it blinking? Maybe it's haunted. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to say. They died from pure stupidity. Why are there chairs in the tree? I don't know if I should even be writing this. Oh, you should, girl, because listen, a story like this, the deaths, the mysterious deaths of all the finches, a family curse, New York Times bestseller right there. You could get rich. And who's gonna stop you? Your family's dead, right? Maybe you'll be the first Finch that's actually intelligent. Who knows? 
Although... Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. No, get rich off your family's stupidity. The Finch Curse, it's a great title for a book, right? Look at how pretty that is. The, the, the moon beaming down its light on the island with the freaky tiki statues. <laughs> and then in the background, you've got the, the original home just uh, crashed up on some type of rock over there, blinking for whatever reason. Hmm. But I thought you should know about your family. It's amazing no one's actually decided to go from the local village over here and explore. It's been abandoned for so long. It would be really cool to own your own island, but, uh, I don't know. And the history you're a part of. I suppose in the daytime it would be cool. You don't have to worry about salesmen, neighbors, nothing. But then at night, something about it just seems really ghostly and creepy. I would not stay here at night. I, <laughs> I can guarantee you that. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I'm not lost. I know exactly what's happening. The Finches were all really dumb and they died in bizarre ways because they were dumb. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. Yeah, I mean, if you're a dumb finch, I can see how you would believe there's a curse, right? Oof. Imagine having to go up this every single time you brought groceries from the local town. <laughs> oh, what a trip. Yeah, they probably had help for that, right? Look at that house. How is it standing still? And when you look at the house, it should have collapsed. That history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Oh. Any of it seems possible. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. I was wondering why it had these weird shacks built up, sort of like it's a uh, favela, you know, from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, sort of like it's, a, uh, I don't know, the slums where they build, you know, makeshift homes out of whatever supplies they can get. It's because the original home when the rooms were occupied and a member of the family died very early on, instead of them emptying the room and then, you know, reusing it for another member of the family, they turned it into a shrine and then boarded it off. So eventually there was no room left in the, the house, so that instead they had to build upwards to make room for other people. That's so bizarre. Yeah, see, the Finches really were crazy. I mean, why would you do that? They left the rooms as is, and instead of emptying them or expanding the home outwards, they built up. <laughs> you could not pay me to sleep up there. That would be so dangerous. Yeesh. All right. I love the atmosphere. It's windy, cold. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. Haunting. Yeah, that, that, that tends to happen when your entire house is a shrine to the dead. Oof. All right. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? A family that's crazy and a family that knows they're so dumb they'll probably die prematurely. Oh, wow, well, look at this view. Okay, yeah, I, mm, I mean, if, if I could own an island and have a house built on it, I probably would because it's really cool. But uh, there's no way I'd have a haunted house like that. Maybe a nice modern, you know, home with really cool architecture and lots of lights and security cameras. Maybe like a sniper tower, too. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Yeah, I can... Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. <laughs> but burpy. <laughs> burpy, derpy, derpy, junior. Chirpy, furpy, lurpy, zerpy. Wow, I could tell they were really good with coming up, name, coming up with names. They were clever, right? <laughs> Zoe, Coco, Tucker... Charlie, Daisy, Lucy. Okay, these are actually pretty decent names, but this is just a variation of Chirpy. Sad. Oliver, Bob. All right. Yeah, that is kind of bizarre, having a pet cemetery. I mean, I understand mourning the, you know, the loss of a pet, but a cemetery for pets? They really were, uh... Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I don't know. They were very close to death. I don't think I would want to live next to a cemetery. There's just something about it that's off-putting. Molly Finch. Okay, I'm guessing... Yeah, oh, well, of course, that's Molly Finch, right? I was about to say it's a cat, but no, it's Molly. <laughs> the little girl that died. Calvin Finch. Sven. Edie. Walter. Barbara. Oh, look, she has a little star there. 
Are they actually buried below the soil? Because if so, get me the hell out of here. This place is haunted. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Clearly. What the hell? <laughs> she could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Hmm. I must admit, though, I would love to explore that. There's just something so eerie about it. You know, I have this morbid curiosity. I feel like I would find skeletons or like the remains of a person inside there or something. I know that's weird. I wouldn't want to live in a giant haunted mansion on an island, but I would love to explore a house that's been sunk. I don't know. There's just something about it. I feel like there's buried treasure over there, you know? Like pirate treasure. Ooh, can I actually see? Hold up. Let me take a peek. Oh, I can. Well, not very well. Oh, I can zoom in. Okay. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Really? Every night? Was it the same dream? It's amazing it's still standing after all this time. Okay, I'm guessing that's a light simply so ships won't crash into the rocks. That is a very haunting image. Very eerie, too. Okay. Oh, not what I meant to do. Hold up. Hmm. Yeah, they were very closely tied to death. That's probably why they thought they were going to die. I mean, when you live your whole life being so closely drawn to death and the idea of a curse and knowing that each of the rooms inside your house had someone that lived there and they died and it was turned into a shrine and it was closed off. I mean, you would have death on your mind constantly. No wonder they all prematurely died. It's kind of inevitable. Oof. All right. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. And this is because? But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. I guess she was trying to protect her from this idea of a curse. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. What happened here? Gregory Finch, Sam Finch, Gus Finch. Yeah, these guys, they did not live very long at all. Oh my goodness, Gregory only lived a year old. He was only a year old when he died. All right, at least Sam made it to 33. Hmm. Whew. This place gives me the chills, man. <laughs> what do we have here? Milton Finch. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Well, clearly she didn't try hard enough. If it were me and I had been born in a home on an island, where apparently everyone was cursed, I would have been on the first boat out of here. Let me tell you what. Hmm. All right. Like how they have a bench there just so they can look at the gravestones. You guys have nothing else to do but think about death all the There's time? so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Why? Maybe she just didn't want to talk about it. How did her mother die? Probably also in a bizarre way. So far, I don't think anyone's died, at least from the people we've explored, in a normal way. But looking back on it now... If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. You're pregnant?! Girl, what's wrong with you?! Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, where's your boyfriend or husband at? He let you come out here by yourself to a haunted island full of dead relatives and the mole man pregnant. Wow. Okay. Maybe he was one of those sleazy boyfriends. Oh my God, you're pregnant. I got to go do some things forever. Bye. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. And why would she wait until now to come back after all this time? I mean, I suppose having a child, or at least she's going to have a child, maybe she wants to know the history of her family. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Really? Okay, well, this spot here seems almost kind of normal. All right, well, here we go. They were both pretty intense. I can tell by the bear rug. <laughs> so this is one of the first... No, never mind, this is part of the house. Up there are the new additions. I really want to explore that. Oh! What's this? Was he a war veteran? Yeah! 
Okay. Sam Finch. Oh, that's Sam Finch. Okay. Kilbor. Lots of medals. Look at that gun, though. Oh, hubba, hubba, hubba. I would like to have that thing. That looks fancy. Lots of cameras. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Hmm, I suppose so. Oh, wow. Okay, so Sam actually made it to a relatively old age, I'm guessing. There's his uh, army helmet. His cameras. Lots of little trinkets and candles. A wedding ring. Man, they really put a lot of detail into this game. There's his binoculars, his field pack. Okay, what do we have here? Yeah, so, well, okay, he didn't live that old. Never mind, I take it back. What? That's Sam, right? U.S. Marines. Why does he look so old? He was only uh, 33 years old. That's really not that old at all. That's very young to die. What am I saying? Now, what's this? Oh, pictures. It's a selfie. Hello there, Sam. Who's this? Oh! Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. Okay, there's the Odin Finch National Park. I'm going to take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Hmm. Kind of peaceful. Oh, look at that, a little campsite over there. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. Hmm. Well, at least you're not dead, so be happy about that. Got some birds over there. All right. I'm not really sure what else I'm supposed to take a picture of. Blades of grass, maybe? Hmm? Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. <laughs> Hold still, I... Hey! Sorry! <laughs> That's a keeper. I just want to remember you peeing. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. 20 years? That's a long time to be away. All right, let's uh, get a random picture of the cooler. There we go. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Oh. Man, that was a great trip. Oh, that's so sad. Your grandpa's fan taught us how to fish, how to build a fire. Dad. Good eyes, Don. Man, I was born to be a photographer. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. What am I supposed to take a picture of? Hold up. Oh. Dad. Go and blast it. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Is she gonna do it? Let me get behind you. Very interesting do perspective. Have to do this? Dawn, you don't have to do anything. But if you will. She did it! Great shot, oh, Dawn! Look at that! Caught the action perfectly! Oh no, she's so sad! <laughs> oh come on! You're a brave wildernessy girl. You took down your first buck. Congratulations. I'm proud of you, Dawn. Always remember that, okay? And this is how she got her taste for killing things. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, fuck. Okay. Apparently, I'm controlling him. Sorry, Dawn. Just got to reset the timer. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's so sad. All right. There we go. Go, 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 go. Double time. Come on. Get up here. Pose with your crying daughter. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's- That's totally so normal, Don. It is? Just focus on the camera. Try not to think- Oh! Of That's how he died? Look at the blood. Oh, and they actually captured that image too. How morbid. Oh, don't worry, it's totally fine. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Yeah, see again, so far, Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter, Odin, 
Everyone has died in the dumbest way possible. You didn't double tap the deer? That, that's common knowledge. Well, that's if it's a zombie, but still, he died because a deer bucked him off the rock. I mean, has anyone died a normal death? Everyone has died in the dumbest ways possible. I'm telling you, I figured it out. I'm a detective. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I busted the case. The Odins, or the Odins, <laughs> the Finches, the, the, the curse they're worried about is just simply stupidity. They're all so damn dumb. If a single person here in this family tree has died a normal death, I will actually be impressed. So far, everyone has died from the silliest possible thing. I mean, that one back there was just embarrassing. He was a photographer, he made it through the war, he was a hunter, and he died because a deer, his, I'm guessing his daughter shot, bucked him off the rock or speared him with the antlers. Oh, brother. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Mm, clearly, yes, clearly. What the? <laughs> okay. Imagine making it through a war and then dying to a buck. Not very legendary. What do we have here? K. Airline ticket. Ooh. Very interesting indeed. So has this room been turned into a shrine also? It has. Incredible. See, that's so stupid. Every time someone in the family died, they just simply boarded up the room, left it as is, turned it into a shrine. Although, is it really a shrine if no one can see it and remember the person that was there? They just, yeah, they decorated everything and then boarded the room up and that, that was it. Oh, hello, hello, what are you? And what mysteries do you hide? Well, I mean, clearly someone wanted to remember because they had all these secret passageways so they could get around from room to room. Uh, the mother was the one that boarded the rooms up so no one else could get into them. So clearly she knew the best way to move on is to simply forget the past. Otherwise, it seems to continue to repeat itself. They probably should have had an intelligence test taken, right? Just so they knew for sure. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Maybe you guys should have left the very dangerous island and got a, I don't know, a proper education. Or taken the necessary steps to make sure that you guys don't die in bizarre ways. Be extra careful. I don't know, that's just me though. What do I know? All right, let's go through here. Hmm. Well, now this room doesn't seem very creepy. Except for the creepy painting of a baby, good lord. I can't tell if you're happy or demented. I don't want to find out though. All right, this is Gregory Finch. Oh, they had their own little lockers. Gus, Dawn, this one's been opened. There's an army helmet in there. Okay, Gregory. So Gregory died at one years old. Well, one year old. Now, how did you die? What bizarre way? What, what, could, what could a baby have possibly done that was so stupid it ended in, in, in him dying? Maybe he chewed on something like Legos and <laughs> choked to death. I don't know. Oh, divorce contract. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Oh, okay. We're taking a bath. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Well, that tends to be the case when you're an imaginative baby. Apparently, I can telepathically control things. Look at this, that's cool. Hello, Mr. Ducky. Huh, all right, can I do anything? Got a frog. Can I drop you in the water? I can. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Oh, and I can control the froggy. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, that's a duck noise. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Maybe I'm a finch, I don't know. Gregory, it's time to... Hello, mother! Hold on, sweetie. Hmm. This looks like a very cozy Hello? little bath. Where are the bubbles at? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. All right, clearly they were having marital problems. I'm very disappointed. Oh, there's the bubbles. Oh, hello. It's a bubble bath. I got a froggy, a wind-up froggy. For some reason, these ducks are inside the bubbles. Don't know what's happening there. Come on in, ducks. The water's warm. Oh, hold up. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see what's happening here. I love the music. You reminded me so much of Calvin. It's so beautiful. There's just something about classical music. 
Oh! <laughs> Whatever it was, he saw. Man, I'm kind of worried this baby uh, has quite the powerful imagination. And that could be a bad thing. Let's try and get this whale in here. Come on, Mr. Whale, hop in the water. I know there's no bubbles, it's not a bubble bath, but we're having a whale of a time. Mm. All right, let's get a big jump, come on. Nope, not quite. Oh wow, the, the whale's eyes moving. That's not terrifying. Uh, maybe I can go over here. Oh, okay. Let's get some letters in here, why not? There we go. Come on, animated alive toys. Help me out here. Let's get all these magnetic letters inside the water so that I can choke on it. That's probably how the baby died, right? These parents, they really knew what they were doing, allowing their child to have a bunch of little plastic things in the tub with it so it could drown. Oh, maybe I do this, hold on. No, that's not what I do. Honestly, I'm completely lost. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Mm. Not able to really get very much uh, distance. Mm. Come on, come on. Nope, hmm, son of a bitch. What do I do? Um. I'm guessing I probably need to get all these letters off. Oh, there we go! Big hops! I don't know how that works, but all right, hold on. Ooh, there we go! Hey! Welcome to bath time, Mr. Whale. Aw, come on, flip over. Flip over. You're gonna drown doing that. Oh, wait, can I bounce on this? I can. Oh, never mind. All right, hold up. Let's get the G in here. This is actually more difficult than it looks. Hold up, give you play a moment. <laughs> Come on, get in here, magnetic letters. How else can I choke on you? Aww, they all seem so happy. Meanwhile, in the background, you can clearly hear mom and dad yelling it out over the phone. They don't seem very happy. Mm. Oh, almost. One more letter to go. There we go, bingo. And I'm guessing I can jump up on here. Hey, there we go. All right, let's get one, wow, every toy is joining. Oh, how silly it sounds. Who knew bath time could be so much fun? Well, I worried about a baby being too happy. Woo! Those are some serious hops. Thank you, Mr. Whale. I feel them slipping away. Finally, it's about damn time we got some bubbles up in this water. Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. After all that work, really? Maybe if I hadn't called that night. After all that work, you ruined my bubble bath. And my friends are no longer animated. They're just plastic toys again. Oh, hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. What you talking about over there, Mama? You talking about divorce? Are you going to get your divorce? I wish you could have told us. Oh, no. About the world he saw. Oh, maybe the baby accident. Oh, the baby accidentally probably drowned. Well, now, how could a toddler reach? There's so much I don't understand. Oh, what the? <laughs> okay, well, I guess if you're a child... About everything. ...with a big imagination, this is what it looks like to drown. How could he have reached the, uh, the water knob like that? What the hell? I don't know. Hello there, Mr. Whale and all of my friends. It's such a lovely day to drown, isn't it? Isn't your fault. Well, it was clearly someone's fault. It's probably the baby's fault. I guess it had really long arms or something. I don't know. Oh, look at this. It's so cool. Oh, the drain stopper. What's happening? Oh, no. That's not good. Why Star Cerebral is really not good. The baby got sucked down the drain. It's a really small baby. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. Okay, again, the, the game leaves all the deaths rather open-ended. The baby died somehow in the tub, but I'm not really sure how it died. Maybe it choked on something, maybe it drowned, I'm not sure, but... Gregory, unfortunately, only lived to, well, one year old, that's it. It's so sad. Aw, there's his toys. You're not so animated now, are you, Mr. Whale? Why couldn't you have done something to save Gregory, huh? Ya bitch. I'm joking, clearly it wasn't alive, right? Mm. Dawn, interesting, okay. This cot's been completely emptied. Nothing, no mattress, no pillow, just a single army helmet. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... Hmm. All right, this baby only lived to be, uh, what, 13 years old? Gus. Oof. All right, what, what happened to you, Gus? 
Clearly, you were into some, some uh, dark emo shit. Yeah, you got some books about the dad. You've got those weird bracelets with the spikes on them. Wow. Oh, of course, you were a skateboarder. You were a punk. Hmm. Well, now, how could a kid named Gus that's a punk die at such a young age? I guess we'll find out. A poem for Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. It's a wedding! Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. The hell? My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Aww. Why was he so upset? Oh, maybe, uh... The, ah, his parents. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I... That's what it was. He didn't want a stepmother. This does not look like a very good location to have a wedding. I'm just saying. It looks rather blustery and cold and really secluded, too. And you've got that haunting house in the background just reminding you death is right around the corner. Who would want to marry into this family anyway? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Hmm, I'm just gonna stay here and fly my kite and be a punk kid. I'm gonna bottle up all the anger inside of me. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined and as a sign held up his middle finger. Screw you, Dad! I don't want to do it! I don't want a stepmother! Mm, this kid he was rebellious. Very rebellious, but he's also great at flying kites, so... You know, you win some, you lose some. At least he's got one skill. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Hmm. Oh, look at the letters on the ground. That's really cool. Okay, so they all went inside the tent, huh? Well, I'm gonna stay down here and fly my kite. Screw you guys! Have fun with your wedding and your, your wedding cake, your kisses, blah! And stay out here. Oh, maybe I, oh, here we go, okay. Oh! <laughs> wow, all right, I'm making a huge mess. Who knew a kite could be so Rain devastating? Came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Yes, very crudely made. I guess uh, even Mother Nature's against this wedding. Damn, what type of kite is this? The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Oh, again, the finches, they're so stupid. There are clear signs that things are about to go awry, and they're like, oh, no, it's all good. Get hit by a train, baby drowns, they fall to their death, a deer bucks them. And I'm guessing something happens here, a tornado, a storm, they get hit by lightning. Or I happen to uh, have a, a very powerful, magical uh, kite of some sort. Who knows? <laughs> no, it's definitely a tornado. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. Damn! But I didn't. Until we found you. Stone cold dead. Got sucked up inside of a tornado. Poor Gus. Well, I hope you're happy, Dad. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. But why is that? You already used the name Gus once, right? Why use it again? Okay, we've got a few other names left. Interesting. Hmm. I would really be very upset if I was born into this family. Just saying. I guess she's back here to kind of, uh piece everything together to understand why her family was like it was, to really understand that there's not a curse, but that her family is just really dumb, so that she doesn't make the same mistake with her child. At least that's that, that's what I'm hoping she's doing. Maybe she leaves here and actually believes there's a curse or something. What the? Now where does this lead? Hmm. Okay, is there anything else around here? No playing outside without permission. Oh, is this a jail or a house? No answering door for strangers. What? What stranger's gonna come to the door? We live on a secluded island. No messes after dark. All chores before dark. Respect others. Okay, cool. Emergency evacuation plan. 
Yeah, there is no way you could get me to stay here, even for one night, not for all the money in the world. Raise flag, breakfast, quiet time. What the? Do they live in a prison? This place was definitely a prison. All right, let's climb up, up, up. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Hmm. Oh. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Well, clearly not far enough, because they kept building up. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Something semi-modern. Kind of. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. What is this? What do we have here? Okay, we've got the Bible. Very small, but yet sort of cozy. I'm, I, I'm guessing bed and couch combination. Dawn. Huh. Ten ways to teach critical thinking. Oh, well, they were onto something. At least they knew they had to learn to avoid dying in dumb ways. All right, let's check out the Bible. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Hmm. Well, if it did, it did. That's nice. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Interesting. Look at that computer. Whew. The thing probably has less than one megabyte of RAM. You could not play Minesweeper on that thing without it lagging. Let me tell you what. Dawn Finch, fly to India. Oh, June 1987? It's so weird. They literally left everything as is. Look, it's a time capsule. What do we have here? She spent a summer building houses in Kolkata, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh, okay. Well, what happened to your dad then? I mean, her mother's dad, but what about the father? Orcas Island High School. All right, well, let's go outside and keep exploring. Lewis was born a year later. <sighs> oh! Oh, this, this seems really safe! Oh yeah, I'm not scared at all. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Okay, well, there goes my theory about the Finches being the idiots. How could her, how could her dad have died? Unless, I suppose, you know, Marrying into the family kind of rubs off on you and you start doing dumb things as well. Or maybe he was up here and just, you know, fell off the ledge and died one day. This does seem really dangerous. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Hmm. Why would she move back here, though? Like, I mean, I understand losing your husband and wanting to go somewhere familiar, but this place of all places, it's like moving into a... And to see kids in the house again. It's like moving into a graveyard. All right, Edith, Milton, Lewis. Interesting. And the lights are still on, surprising. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. Hmm, there's that haunting house out there. Actually, this looks kind of cozy. You get a really good view of the water, the village down there, the uh, entire island. But uh, you, no, I would not stay up here. It just doesn't feel very safe. I mean, I can guarantee there was not any type of, like, code or building instructions or anything where they, they put this up. There, there was nothing. They just grabbed some wood and started hammering things in place. It's amazing this thing is still standing. All right, well, let's check this out. Who lived in here? Oh, it's a schoolroom. All right. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. It's a schoolroom with a view. Until, uh, yeah, it breaks and you fall to your death? Hmm. Well, I guess that is one way to get your kids motivated. You can leave here once you're done with your schoolwork. Okay, Mom. I mean, I would be rushing to get my stuff done because I would be afraid this whole thing would collapse. What do we have here? Edith, Barbara, Gus, Sven, Odin. Okay, those are all the names. Lewis Rules. Is there something in here? <laughs> hmm. But it didn't last. Clearly not. Myth, the curse. Ah, this is her school presentation. Odin Finch by Edith Finch. Okay, it's the history of the family, the alleged curse, which again, I'm saying the curse is nothing more than just simply being really stupid. Relief efforts end in disaster. Interesting. Oh, and a laptop too. Hmm. Man, they really left in a hurry. They left everything here. They didn't take anything. Scientific method. Observation, question, research, hypothesis, experiment, data, conclusion. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, I'm doing all of those things right now. So I'm trying to solve the mystery of the Finch family. 
and how they all died in mysterious ways. All right, let's go through this door. Whoa! See what I'm saying? The beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Ooh. Ooh. I can see how on a blustery night you could get swept right off the edge and plop! You're dead! Bones broken! Oh! Okay, yet another room that's been entombed. It's a shrine. And this is Milton's room. 1992 to present? After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Okay. That's so bizarre. I mean, he disappeared though, right? He's not confirmed dead, so why would the mother take the time to seal this off? And who was she trying to keep out? I guess she was only trying to keep out her daughter, Edith. That, that has to be it. That's the only person that would have been left snooping around. I suppose. Unless she was doing it before other members of the family died. What a view. What a ter terrifying view. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's go in here. At least I feel a little bit safer in this room. Kind of. Look at all the paint on the floor. Kind of claustrophobic in here. You get to experience all the fears. Claustrophobia, heights, death, ghosts, wind, darkness. Really test your metal. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Okay, so Edie was the original person, uh, the original member of the family doing all the painting, and then Milton also was a painter. So maybe he uh, picked up where she left off and did a lot of the painting around, you know, like the shrines, the doors, and whatnot. The portraits of the members of the family that died. Okay, door has definitely been glued shut. It's a paint on the floor. Painting of a door. Not very creative. What's this? Oh, okay, we can go up. Oh. So I'm guessing Edie painted this of Milton. 1992. A year before I was born. I was born in 1993. Okay. He was quite the artist. But, uh, I don't know that I would want to have my studio up here. Oh, Lord. It keeps going up? <sighs> it's amazing no one died from being up here. Or maybe they did. I don't know. <laughs> Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. The Magic Paintbrush? Okay. Now, what is this? It's one of these, uh, flip books. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> a chew! Very cool indeed! And oh my goodness, Inception! A flip book inside of a flip book! Okay, there's no way a flip book could be this long. It would be so many pages. This would take forever. Hey! Bravo! Wow, what a flip book. Holy crap. So is he actually... Oh, he is dead. Oh. I was four when Milton disappeared. Or maybe he's not dead. I don't know. On the door, it doesn't actually say 2003. But he's definitely gone. But how did he die, though? Or disappeared, rather? Hmm. Oh, so, so weird. Okay. Get me the hell out of this creepy studio. Before I fall and break every bone in my body. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. So they never actually found him. Maybe Milton kind of wised up and he's like, hold up. This place is no good. I'm going to end up dying like everyone else. I'm just going to leave now, cut my losses, and move on. He was probably a smart boy. That, that That's probably what it was. That's honestly what I would have done. Family curse? Whether it's true or not, I'm leaving here before something happens. I mean... Mom stashed me up here on like the 20th floor. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. I mean, one wrong move or, or, or God, who knows? A storm comes by, house collapses, it's game over. You're dead, so maybe he was smart and just decided to leave. Either way, though, I think for now I'm going to leave it off there. If you guys are still enjoying this series and the mysteries of what's happened to the Miltons, uh, or rather the Finches, leave a comment down below, smash the like button, I, uh, I'm very intrigued by this game. I think it's fantastic. I think I've solved the, the mystery, though. Again, the Finches are dying because they're really, really stupid. But either way, I think the next episode might be the last. 
Uh, we've seen Milton, Edith, uh, well, Edith, that's the, the character in the game, the, the protagonist, but we've seen how Milton's died, sort of. Gus, Gregory, Walter, Sam, Calvin, Barbara, Molly, uh, Edie died in 2010, Odin. So all we have left is Lewis and Dawn, and that should be it. So next episode should be the final video. Uh, and until then, peace out.